Hello and welcome traders at this Bitcoin technical analysis video. I want to go over yesterday longs because this was uh, locally we re revisited uh, the strongest support and I want to show you each tool I was using to decide if to enter or not. So let's go. This is going to be a quick video. So you see my entries on two accounts. I was entering on scalper account and on the day trader account because I saw potential from the area to become day trade as well, not just scalp. That's the first important piece of information. You can see I was also utilizing limits. You know, if you want to learn limit trading, um, you need to be really good trader first. Uh, you can see I made section how I use limits because my fees are pretty substantial. So I combine limits and market orders. You see two limits were filled at the total loss. Yeah, I use only limits where I'm really confident we get the bounce because you need to predict market well, uh, you know, to uh, in order to apply limits and have a really good risk reward ratio. So you can see yet again, very strong support for us because we uh, with the move down, we actually finally because this low was not bad, but we still haven't cleared a lot of important stuff. So this was also long. Uh, but yeah, this was much better low, especially in terms of volume. So we'd move here, you close CME gap. So inefficiency in the market closed, market hates inefficiencies. We've cleared low volume node because there was not much support here. Strong, strong market changing order block here. You can see it's, it was formed from over here. Field, uh, remaining golden zone because 0.61 gave us reaction uh, day before. Now we've, we went into the rest of the golden zone box, 0 0.66 to 0 0.702. Now market structure from the previous range was also hit and just below it was great. We had high volume node and inside the high volume node, we had daily naked point of control and session naked point of control. Yeah, you can see the daily naked point of control from the exo charts. It's the area where uh, you have potentially a lot of trap traders. You can analyze it yourself. If you are on exocharts, you can analyze this area and see how many people you have trapped. Really great, uh, really great naked point of control if you did your analysis and also more eyes were looking at the area because not just this daily, but we had the session from the New York and New York naked point of controls are the strongest. So New York point of control also little, little front run because the daily naked point of control was hit. So you had even more eyes on the area is fantastic you want that <clears throat> in this small market another thing you cleared the daily viva inefficiency so there was also another inefficiency in the area you can learn about this in the group and um, most importantly we finally run the major liquidity uh, and medium liquidity nodes those were people who were longing in this range here and especially from the weekend we know there is high chance you will take out weekend liquidity both ways we did it to the upside and now it was waiting to the downside weekend trading does not produce much support and resistance because there are low volumes and also below this low uh it was pretty easy this was just visual sphinx failure pattern very little not many people were stopped out here but this was proper stopping out and much more people so let's go over other tools so we were watching trdr here so trdr was showing us we are seeing massive liquidations. I always want to. I always want to see the massive liquidations during the uh, exhaustive, potentially reversing uh, highs or lows. So people get liquidated. That's fantastic. It's not a surprise for us because we uh, we we had liquidity in the region. Open interest aggregation delta also spiking up pretty decently. So I also like to see that. Order books are showing me the limit orders in the, in the global order books around the world are ready to, to absorb and buy the dip. We can see also what happened after we placed the low. We've started to see supporting more local bands here. Yeah, so this was also really great. Um, there were some limits spawning as we started to change first local market structure. We always want to see that. So these people help us and they show us intention. Um, they are ready to enter also on the limit, but uh, yeah, not many got a chance they needed to enter market. So supporting bands as well, very, very important. <clears throat> Let's go over here. One thing I don't like still is the uh, positive funding rate, but yeah, what we can do because this still can mean we can uh, continue in downtrend. So be careful with that. Still many people, much many people long in the uh, compared to spot market, then, you know, perps are much longer. Okay, so let's go to exo charts. Exo charts very important. You can see, especially when you are watching it live, that's, uh, that's what matters for you. But you can see both candles which are leading to the major move to the downside are they have massive volume compared to previous activity. So you can see what was activity of the day. 
very little volume like um, <clears throat> 256 million and 300 600 that was like not bad 169 so yeah we are seeing spite of we are seeing massive spike of volume and delta to the downside big liquidations and uh if you even compare to the previous low because we need to compare all the time this candle had this candle had 500 into uh, 500 million inside it so it was not so strong potentially not so strong as this one because you grabbed a lot more liquidity and uh, it's all about liquidity grab in the market the more you feel the better and what was happening uh, locally was very important we saw a lot of shorts into the support some very nice shorts here as well which was potential to squeeze them but also as soon as we started to go up we are seeing people shorting support still so we are getting fuel we are getting fuel if we move higher and also we are seeing open interest increasing on all exchanges and uh, new logs are coming in okay so massive longs are coming in uh, if you if you take out this low you will squeeze them out and they will be closing but it never happened they were protecting positions this is sign of strength massive longs coming in after a liquidity grab after a larger swing value pattern from the from the previous day low look at open interest Massive open interest increase, and we never change the. We never put these people into danger. That's that's what is very very important here. So and the shorts are closing. So once you started to do this, you started to go over breaking points. I gave a breaking point in the group twenty six eight hundred. It was actually twenty six seven fifty when a lot of shorts puked out. But you can see here what happened with this candle. Hey, twenty six eight hundred. It was over here, and. Massive, massive move to the upside that was also a local um, local short if you wanted because we went into the daily view up and it was also the major target this was two percent move <clears throat> so this was uh, this was me uh, scalp scalp closed yes take profit one after one uh, 0 0.5 percent one percent was over here somewhere here this was take profit two was also adding a bit and then final close of the uh, scalp scalp trade in the daily view up but also day trade is uh, running happily. Day trade had one uh, one percent take profit, and uh, it's still continuing because there is potential to you know this area has potential to be day trade, and again we can rotate the range. So that's what I have in mind. So you are seeing my twenty six eight hundred point was respected. People getting puked. People getting short. These higher shorts as well. The lower shorts as well. Just beautiful. This was the first. So order flow was on our side. Uh, you watch Binance, Binance matters the most. <clears throat> Let's go further. Order books. We saw really nice wall fills, but they happened a bit higher. So uh, because yeah, they happened a bit higher, but it's perfectly fine because spot market was supporting us. You can see over here. We filled a lot of big spot walls and what you do after walls is very important for you. You either protect the area which happened or you continue to the downside if you don't protect these massive massive spot wall fields it's telling you it's more of the profit taking from higher from the people and if you are protecting after the fields it's telling you this can be genuine new interest and they are employing the rest of the liquidity to protect their entries <clears throat> this was also defining this was also locally putting a bit pressure this spot wall here but in the end it was bridged with volume which was fantastic i said we, if we eat that wall we will open road to the upside which happened let's go further so we are open interest we find out now you see the open interest decline of these shorts this that was your major take profit when uh, shorts are getting squeezed from lower because you you already you, you see why market is now going sideways it's now collecting again open interest this is the rinse and repeat story in uh, every day in bitcoin if it when it drags most of the people when uh, longs and shorts closed here you know it starts to collect again the open interest and liquidity i mean for you it's big signal to take profit because you are seeing exhaustive end of the price action as we had here yes just sh showing you a bit of liquidity we are pre prepared for this um it was like no brainer if you zoom in here if you zoom out you see this was the weekend start as soon as we go sideways and we are trading this upper range this was the major liquidity node and it was like magnet for the market to take it out we took it we took it out and we grabbed a lot of liquidity and we are bouncing here you know if you go beyond this point market is telling you my interest was not just for the liquidity but i might go lower and retest the lows 
Yes, there was not much liquidity to grab here. So if you see going over major liquidity notes, it's telling you there is genuine selling pressure in the market, not caring about uh, just filling position, right? So yeah, and you see locally, it was the major liquidity note, very, very red zones with yellow ones. So huge volumes, beautiful. <clears throat> high block, I just showed you liquidity, so we don't need to, need to go over high block. One more important remark. What I always want to see locally for the best lows, I want to see when delta from the perpetuals outstretch the spot markets. What is it telling you? It is telling you very potentially uh, the you know perps are, are like overstretching the move compared to spot. Spot was like pretty fine uh, selling out, but you see the perpetual people getting stopped out and they uh, they usually do that and they overstretch the market. Those are best lows in the market when. When they finally, when the perps line, the global ag like aggregated line went over uh, the spot spot line here. If you go check back into the history, you will see the strongest lows are happening like that. Yeah, because then market finds the balance and uh, these outstretches, especially these last part of the moves, uh, are like not natural. They were caused by liquidations and forced selling from people. So uh, yeah, perfect. That's what I always want to see. Yeah, now you see what's happening. Like perpetuals are longing a bit more longer compared, uh, a bit more compared to this spot, which we don't like to see. And spot is keep selling, so we just be careful here. You need to be positioned here, and if you get pullback, then you will be adding when this, uh, you know, gap squares out. <clears throat> okay, so yes, this was our tools, and one more thing I want to mention. This stock market yesterday did major breakout. Let's see the ES one which was also not bad confluence for us. You see key, a lot of highs were taken out yesterday. That was also helping Bitcoin to find some footing. If the stock market, for example, was heading down, uh, I think Bitcoin would be probably going uh, below 26K and the lows, but stock market, especially Nasdaq, this is the highest correlation with Bitcoin, was heading also breaking very key high here. So this also helped us find the footing and that's why you need to watch this template here. Look here. This is the template where I definitely watch stock market overlay ES1 overlay over Bitcoin and I'm watching dollar index as well. And you can see what was happening here. Um, the stock market, the Bitcoin was going, um, the stock market had really, really, it was still market structure up for the stock market locally and the Bitcoin was heading on its own for the liquidity. And then it starts to correlate it back again with the stock market. And uh, you see what was happening. They were helping each other just beautiful. So stock market was on our side yesterday was big risk on day. You need to understand what is risk on day, risk of day. You definitely need to understand that. And you see they catch up together. Bitcoin catch up to stock market just over here. And now they are locked. And again, correlation is very high. If we get continuation from stock market today, then my day trade longs will be making more profit. So I want to see that. Lastly, I will be mentioning Ethereum. Ethereum is king of the altcoins with massive volume and Ethereum also did Ethereum also did swing failure. Um, I mean, swing failure pattern we, we had uh, on larger time scale, but Ethereum also had massive liquidity here. So we'd move over here. Ethereum also took it and is helping Bitcoin and Bitcoin is helping Ethereum. So do you see what means high confluence zone when all things come together without, with our tools, with our technical analysis? When everything comes together, big massive longs, I said in group, big positions, partial limits, market order is going in, all what I want to see. Thank you for watching uh, and see you in the group, guys. Bye.